Welcome to the Writer's Life, a place where you get the sight, sound, smells, taste of my particular writer's life, and where you get the truth about the writer's life. My truth, anyway. Um, smash the like button. Um, subscribe, if you haven't already. And uh, hit that bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on one exciting video. Um, so, today is like Black Friday the 13th. <laughs> it's just spooky how many things are going wrong today in the world. Um, so we woke up to like, uh, well, what the government says is 7.9% inflation rate, and obviously that's skewed. It's probably more like 12%. So what this means for a writer, if you got a $100,000 advance a year ago, it's now worth like $88,000 or something like that, right? Do the math. Um, if you got like a $50,000 advance, it's now like worth like 38 or whatever if you got yourself a uh, um, the more normal like five thousand dollar advance for a mystery book or something like that it's worth shit um, so what do you do um, in order to keep up with this uh, hyperinflation and this uh, this uh, horrible economy the gas prices and that in particular kills me because that's just a self-inflicted wound you know we're, we, we were we were totally energy um, independent prior to this administration and then just you know with a stroke of a pen boom people are paying 15 60 dollars to fill up their tanks anyway um luckily i'm a writer and i don't have to fill up my tank but uh, you know still thinking of other people um so what do you do to keep up with the inflation um you know you can fire your agent he's taking 15 percent um, you can try to write more and put out more books independently to try to uh, um, build up your income streams. I'm doing that. Um, you can get a job because there's jobs out there. Um, but nobody wants to take the, take the jobs because the government's paying you more to stay home. This is the world we're living in. Anyway. And so, second, uh, new COVID mandates due to this Omicron thing. Um... I think I'm saying that right, aren't I? Yeah, Omnicron, Omnicron. Um, thus far, I think um, Alec Baldwin's killed more people this year than Omnicron, but they say COVID's on the rise again and that people are being hospitalized. You know, one can't help but wonder if that's also part of the cause of the, of the normal flu. You know, maybe they're just saying, that, you know, if you have the flu, you have COVID or something, who knows? So starting Monday in New York State, you have to either show proof of vaccination and or wear a mask, whenever, even if you're going to the grocery store, or that store can face a $1,000 fine. Now that to me is tyranny. Um, tyranny with a big T. Um, starting to get fed up with it. Uh, and lastly, uh, Michael Nesmith died. He was the guitarist in the, um, in the Monkees. Which is sad. I always like Michael Nesmith, a great movie producer. Um, he produced uh, Repo Man back in the 80s, punk movie. It was awesome. Um, and he wrote some really great solo music, too. And uh, he's, he was on the road up until like a year ago that I know of. I don't know how he died, but probably COVID. Um, so that's kind of sad. You know, a lot of our heroes um, are dying, which is sad. Um, in any case, Life goes on. She goes on. Um, uh, you know, anyway, so I hope uh, they figure out a way to stop this inflation. Um, it's not just in the States. It's going on all over the world. Anywhere there's serious money printing. So they're going to have to do something or else uh, we're all going to be in some serious ass trouble. Anyway, that's it for the good news today. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Ciao, ciao.